Hi everyone, I'm Sarah and this is Budget Sew, so, where we create stylish, fashionable looks as inexpensively as possible. Today, I'm going to show you my sewing book haul, but first, I'm going to show you one of my makes. Today, I'm wearing Vogue 8391, View A in a size 16. in a Vogue pattern sale at Fabricland more than 10 years ago. It was published in 2007. This pattern is a wrap shirt with collar and neck variations, side tie and machine stitched hems. View A is sleeveless, View B has short sleeves, and View C has three quarter length sleeves with a roll up cuff. I made up this top with View A's neckline and View C's three-quarter length sleeves. I loved View A's collar and neckline. You may remember this top from my thrifted sewing pattern haul video. The link to that video is right here at the top of the screen. I bought the fabric at Fabricland in the clearance section for $7 a meter. Originally $29 a meter, so I bought two meters. I couldn't pass up this beautiful fabric. I loved the white rope pattern on the emerald green fabric. I thought that it went well with all the other blue and white fabrics I bought at the time for a nautical look. Even though the pattern calls for broadcloth, lightweight linen, or crepe, I chose this cotton mix fabric because it has just a hint of stretch. I didn't make any alterations to the pattern pieces before cutting the fabric. But once I had the shirt in one piece, I decided not to cuff the sleeves so that they would be full length instead. This is a lovely top, but a bit too low cut for me, so I always wear it with a camisole. To complete the look, I'm wearing Black Mia Jeans by Denver Hayes that I bought from the Value Village thrift store. The black camisole and necklace are from the Salvation Army charity store. The Dex Flex Comfort Shoes are from Payless Shoe Store. I bought the Mia and Luca Black Leather Purse from Value Village, and the earrings were in a Ziploc bag full of jewelry that I bought for $5 at a church Christmas bazaar. Now, on to the book haul. I found that the price of books was skyrocketing. I love to read, learn new things, and look at the pictures, but I won't pay those high prices. I love buying new books, well, new for me, from secondhand shops, but I haven't been out thrifting lately. I was feeling kind of down, but then my mom told me about a website called bookoutlet.ca, so I checked them out. My mom bought me a book for my birthday from this website, and I absolutely love it. The books at Book Outlet are new, unread and in good condition. Their books are marked down because most of them are marked with a small line or dot on the edge by publishers who sell them their returns and excess inventory. In addition to their already low prices, they had a sale and when I created an account and subscribed, they sent me a coupon code 
for $5 off my purchase. I was really impressed with the prices and the website, as well as my birthday present book. So I ordered eight books in total, five of them sewing and crafting related, and three others. I made sure that my order total was over $45, so I would get free shipping. The first book is Homemade Vintage by Christina Strutt. The website said, From the creative talent of Cabbage and Roses, the vintage style fabric company, Homemade Vintage presents over 40 easy to sew projects that will transform your home into a pure and pretty tableau of handcrafted detail. From pillows to aprons, duvet covers to lampshades, Homemade Vintage is the ultimate guide to creating an inviting, charming home. I took a peek at this book on Amazon.ca, used the Look Inside feature to see what the book was like, and I fell in love with all the photos. This book retails for $23.95, Amazon.ca sells it for $25.54, but I paid $10.23 Canadian. The next book is Doodle Stitching, Embroidery and Beyond, Cruel, Cross Stitch, Sashiko, and more. The cover of this book really appealed to me. The website said, in her first two doodle stitching books, Amy Ray proved that doodling isn't just for paper anymore. Now she brings her irresistible art to a variety of embroidery techniques in a timeless resource for anyone with a needle and thread. Appealing to stitchers of all levels, the beautiful decorative stitches and techniques here include stump work, applique, shisha, cut work, and sashiko. They're all presented in Ray's fresh, accessible, and whimsical style with more than 20 fun projects and extra motifs so readers can personalize their creations. I like the description of the book and the mushroom pin cover with the pretty fabrics on the cover. The cover price of this book is $15.95 Canadian, but I paid $5.83. The third book in the box is Wild and Free Holidays by Ainsley Arment. I was feeling in the Christmas spirit when I bought this. The website said, create new holiday traditions your family will treasure. When autumn rolls around, what could be better than gathering your family and making memories together? Ainsley Arment and the Wild and Free community have curated a festive selection of holiday-themed crafts, activities, recipes, and new traditions that parents and children will enjoy, such as pumpkin beeswax harvest candles, storybook ornaments, holiday crowns, homemade wrapping paper, arroz con leche, and more. This just sounds like a nice book. The cover price was $28.50, but I paid $11.43. Then there's Holiday Crafts by Katherine Warham. I was looking for more Christmas books because I didn't have any, and this one looked perfect. The website said, rather than buying expensive, mass-produced Christmas decorations, Follow the ideas and projects in holiday crafts and make your own stylish and fun creations. Decorating the Christmas tree always kickstarts the festive celebrations. And in the first chapter, you will find tons of new ideas from chandelier beads suspended from velvet ribbons to felt stars and cinnamon stick bundles. The next chapter focuses on wrapping presents. In here, there are gift wrap projects using boxes and bows, paper and fabric, buttons and rickrack, and more. The third chapter on cards also features labels and gift tags, and the projects range from fun snowman greeting cards to stenciled and stamped cards, which you can easily make in large numbers. The dining table takes center stage on Christmas Day itself, and the chapter on table settings suggests different themes and color schemes from sophisticated silver to red and white country style 
to traditional red, green, and gold. There's nothing nicer than receiving a homemade present. So the section on foodie gifts includes chocolates, festive cupcakes, chocolate brownies, and cookies to hang from the Christmas tree. And finally, as the holidays are the time for children of all ages, there's a chapter on makes for kids, including brightly colored paper chains, paper snowflakes, and pom-pom decorations. I liked the idea of this book, that rather than buying something new, make something new yourself. The original price of this book was $22.95, but I paid $11.99. Before I continue with this sewing book unboxing, please like and share this video with your friends and family. I'd love to help others sew and refashion on a budget and troubleshoot their favorite patterns. I also love sharing the treasure that I find at thrift shops. If you'd like to see more from Budget Sew, please subscribe and make sure that the bell is on so you receive a notification when I release a new video. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Budget Sew. Now, back to the books. Oh, this book I thought would be fun. This is Sewing Green by Betts White. The website said, by its nature, do-it-yourself sewing is environmentally friendly. In Sewing Green, Betts White takes stitching to an even higher level of sustainability, presenting 25 projects made from repurposed thrift store and back-of-the-closet finds and organic fabrics. White's whimsical yet practical designs include an apron constructed from men's dress shirts, and a wallet from the shirt's cuffs, a soft blanket pieced from secondhand cashmere sweaters, and even a tote bag refashioned from used Tyvek envelopes. Along the way, White dispenses tips on everything from how to deconstruct old garments for reuse in new creations to how to wrap gifts with reusable fabric scraps instead of paper. With Sewing Green, you'll be fashioning handmade heirlooms and sustaining traditions for generations to come. Doesn't this book sound like fun? The cover price was $32.50, but I paid $15.59 Canadian. This book is not a sewing book, but I thought it would be very useful. This book is called Code Like a Girl by Miriam Peskowitz. The bookoutlet.com website said, Welcome to Code Like a Girl, where you'll get started on the adventure of coding with cool projects and step-by-step -step tips. Coding is about creativity, self-expression, and telling your story. It's solving problems and being curious, building things, making the world a better place, and creating a future. It's about you, whoever you are, wherever you're at, and whatever you want. Nearly everything you encounter on a screen is made from code. You see, with code, you can have an idea and put it into action. It's your voice and your vision. From the outside, tech and code may seem puzzling and mysterious, but when you get through the door and pass the first few beginner steps and your code starts to work, it feels like magic. My partner Brad has the YouTube channel Engineer Corner and he's my tech support. He knows everything about coding and I want to learn too. The original price of this hardcover was $28.99, but I paid $3.34. Yes, $3.34. The next book is Weather Watching by Patrick Hook. This is a Collins Discover and Smithsonian book. This user-friendly, authoritative resource includes full-color photographs, easy-to-follow guidance, and diagrams showing you everything you need to follow the weather. As our climate continues to change, more than ever before we need to understand how extreme weather affects the world around us. This practical introductory guide offers all the know-how you need. Inside you will find forecasting, how winds and clouds are formed, how clouds can help you predict the weather, and information on extreme weather, such as hurricanes and tornadoes. 
The cover price of this book was $16.95 American, but I paid $9.99 Canadian. The final book in the box was Into the Storm by Reed Timmer. The website said, An eye of the hurricane view of storm chasing from the star of the Discovery Channel's hit series, Storm Chasers. Only one in ten chasers actually intercept a tornado, unless you're Reed Timmer. The thrill-seeking meteorologist and star of Storm Chasers has followed and faced down more violent tornadoes than anyone. Into the Storm brings readers into the mind of this man and his mission, collecting data that could save lives in the terrifying, awe-inspiring world of big weather. Into the Storm is also a fascinating look at the science of weather, what causes extreme conditions, its connection to climate change, and how a tornado gets its stovepipe structure. The original price of this book was $17.50, but I paid $6.15. As a bonus, I'll show you the book that my parents gave me for my birthday. This is Fashion Hacks by Janine Chisholm. I don't know what price they paid, nor am I going to ask, because it was a present but the original price was $26.99. Whether you trawl markets for pre-loved clothing that's in need of repair, or want to do your bit for the planet by sustainably updating your existing wardrobe, you'll find plenty of inspiration here. Take Make Do and Mend one step further by not just mending, but creating fashion, unique items of clothing through repurposing your old ones. This book is fantastic. I love the ideas. They're so creative. It has beautiful photos and complete instructions. The book even comes with three patterns. Overall, I was very impressed with the books and the speed of delivery. The books were brand new and I received them less than a week after I placed my order. I plan to place another order closer to Christmas because Brad and I celebrate Yola Baca Flood, an Icelandic tradition which translates roughly to Christmas Book Flood in English. On Christmas Eve, we exchange our gifts of a book and a bit of chocolate and then spend the evening curled up reading our brand new treasures while savoring the chocolate treat. I hope you enjoyed my sewing book haul from Books Outlet. Please like and share this video with your friends and family. I love sharing my new, vintage, and out of print sewing patterns, and my tips, tricks, quick fixes, and even my mistakes when sewing along with you. I also love sharing my wonderful fabric finds that I thrifted from charity shops, as well as brand new fabric online and in store. If you'd like to see more from Budget Sew, please subscribe and press the bell so you receive a notification when I release a new video. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at BudgetSew. Thanks for watching. See you next time.